Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to disable old or weak versions of SSL and TLS on Windows 8. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. In order to disable old or weak versions of SSL and TLS on Windows 8, you need to perform the below steps. Step 1. Uncheck the old or weak version of SSL or TLS option from the Internet Properties. Step 2. Edit the Registry Editor. Let's perform the steps in detail. Step 1. Uncheck the Use SSL or TLS option from the Internet Properties. Click on the Start button located on the taskbar. After then click on the search icon located on the upper left side of the screen. Once you click on it, a search box will appear. Type Internet option on it. Once you type it, it will be available just below of the search box. Click on it to open it. By clicking on it, one window will be opened with the name Internet Properties. Go to the Advanced tab and click on it. In the Settings section, scroll down the screen. Here, you can see the protocols which are supported by the browser. Unchecked box means that it is disabled for the browser. You can see that SSL 2.0 and SSL 3.0 are already disabled. In order to disable TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1, you need to uncheck the respective box. After then click on the Apply button to apply the changes. Click on the OK button to close the Internet Properties window. Step 2. Edit the Registry Editor. In Windows 8, by default SSL 2.0 is disabled. However, SSL 3.0, TLS 1.0, TLS 1.1 and TLS 1.2 are enabled. Important notes TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1 might be depreciated but it's still widely used. Disabling them may cause you problems. So, we highly recommend you to check the compatibility of your website or application before disabling it. In this video tutorial, we will guide you on how to disable SSL 3.0, TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1 on Windows 8. To disable old protocols such as SSL 3.0, TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1 for clients, you need to change the D-word value to zero. If an SSPI security support provider interface app requests to use old protocol, it will be denied. To disable old protocols by default, create a disabled by default entry and change the D-word value to 1. If an SSPI app explicitly requests to use an old protocol, it may be negotiated. Let's see in the practical way. Let's maximize the registry window so you can easily view it. To disable SSL 3.0, Right-click on the Protocols folder and select New Option. After then click on the Key option. By clicking on it, one new folder will be created with the name New Key 1. You have to rename it with the name SSL 3.0. Type SSL 3.0 and press Enter. 
right-click on the SSL 3.0 key and select New Option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, one new folder will be created with the name New Key 1. You have to rename it with the name Client. Type Client and press Enter. Again right-click on the Client key and select New Option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default. And press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default and select Modify from the drop-down menu. Go to the Base section and select the Decimal option. After then go to the Value Data field and enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the client key and select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled and press enter. Right click on the name enabled and select modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero and the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Now, we will disable TLS 1.0 on Windows 8. In order to disable TLS 1.0, right-click on the Protocols folder and select New Option. After then click on the Key option. By clicking on it, one new folder will be created with the name New Key 1. You have to rename it with the name TLS 1.0. Type TLS 1.0 and press Enter. Right click on the TLS 1.0 key and select New Option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, one new folder will be created with the name New Key 1. You have to rename it with the name Client. Type Client and press Enter. Again right click on the Client key and select New Option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name New Value 1. You have to rename it with the name Disabled by Default. Type Disabled by Default and press Enter. Right-click on the name Disabled by Default and select Modify from the drop-down menu. Go to the Base section and select the Decimal option. After then go to the Value Data field and enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. 
Again right click on the client key and select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled and press enter. Right click on the name enabled and select modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero and the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Now, we will disable TLS 1.1 on Windows 8. In order to disable TLS 1.1, right-click on the Protocols folder and select New Option. After then click on the Key option. By clicking on it, one new folder will be created with the name New Key 1. You have to rename it with the name TLS 1.1. Type TLS 1.1 and press Enter. Right-click on the TLS 1.1 key and select New Option. After then click on the Key option. By clicking on the key option, one new folder will be created with the name new key 1. You have to rename it with the name client. Type client and press enter. Again right click on the client key and select new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default and press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default and select modify from the drop down menu. Go to the base section and select the decimal option. After then go to the value data field and enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the client key and select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type Enabled and press Enter. Right click on the name Enabled and select Modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero and the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Once you're done, close the registry editor window. And reboot the machine to make changes effective. After reboot, the old or weak version of the SSL and TLS will be disabled.
let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to disable old or weak versions of SSL and TLS on Windows 8. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.